Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Lee Fuge, and today I've got something a little bit different in my hands. This is a Minarec guitar. Anyone who has watched any of my videos before will know that most of my tasting guitars tends to lean more on the classic shapes. So why am I holding something in my hands that looks like this? So this is not my guitar, this is not a sponsored video, this is not in any sort of association with Minerik. This guitar literally belongs to a friend of mine. He brought it over because he had some fret buzz and he needed a bit of a setup. And while it was here, I couldn't really pass up the opportunity to put it on camera because you know you don't see these things very often and it's a pretty crazy guitar so i thought maybe some of you guys will appreciate this and seeing something a little bit rare and a little bit weird and out there it's a pretty cool guitar it kind of meets that point where a guitar turns into art because this isn't really a conventional looking instrument so minaric for anyone who don't know are a small American guitar builder headed up by a guy called Mark Minerick. They make some real crazy out there designs. So you're not gonna get your typical Strat and Tele style guitars from these guys. It's all stuff that's a little bit wacky. They've got one or two models in the range which are a little bit more normal in, you know, in terms of conventional guitar shapes. But most of what they do is a bit out there like this thing. So what is this thing? So this Technically, according to the headstock, is a Minerik Goddess. But this is where this guitar is a little bit of an anomaly because this guitar is actually a prototype, not a production model. So my friend who owns this guitar has confirmed this with Mark Minerik himself. It's got the serial number of just 14. So it's a super low number, but the actual versions of this guitar that you see on the web store are actually listed as the Medusa. So this is actually headed up as a goddess, which is actually a different shape in their catalog. So if you look on the Minerik website and you look on the goddess, you're not going to see this guitar, you're going to see something different. This appears under the Medusa. But with this being a prototype, there's a couple of different things compared to the production model. So my guess is with this being a prototype, this was probably sent to the UK as maybe like a proof run for something. Maybe they wanted to check out a model before it hit the stores but it's certainly not a typical production line model. So there's a couple of little things which differ from what you actually see on the web store. The first one being the fact that this is a flat top guitar. The actual version on the website is a carved top. And also there's some differences with where this binding is as well. So you can see in the close-up cam, the binding runs all the way around the body and then we've actually got this little spiral here. This binding, I believe, if it's the same as the full production model, is all real abalone. So it's very, very intricate. You can see it kind of runs all the way through and into that spiral. Like I said, it's a completely flat top guitar. We've got these little sort of violin inspired C cuts here on the bottom and on the top as well, which is pretty cool. And then up on the headstock, we've got this sort of abalone Medusa style logo, which is pretty cool. These tuners are super ornate as well. They've got this real fancy design to them. 
They feel very solid. I know they use a lot of Grover stuff, but I don't know if these are Grovers or if these are just something that ended up on the pre-production models. The pickups on this thing are real, real present and really crisp sounding pickups. They're actually some of my favorite pickups I've heard in a while. I don't know if you can make out very well on the camera, but I will add in some close-up shots. It says tone perfect pickups on there. We've got a three-way switch up here and we've got four knobs here. These control the pickups. We've got a volume and a tone for the neck pickup and a volume and a tone for the bridge pickup. It's got a standard two pneumatic style bridge, but again, there's some engraving on the tailpiece that might not be showing up too well on the close camera. And we've got what I believe is possibly a rosewood fretboard. It's pretty dark, but I don't think it's ebony because it does have some lighter streaks in there. And that again has got some quite ornate inlays going on. The neck is bound, but there's no abalone on the binding of the neck. It's just a sort of typical cream plastic binding that offsets the white very nicely. So according to the Minerick website, this is actually one of the most important guitars they've ever developed. There's some interesting stuff going on with chambering in the body, which actually enhances certain frequencies in the guitar spectrum. On the website, it states that this guitar has two unique chambers. Now again, I don't know if this pre-production model has the exact same features as the full fat model that you'd get, but it basically says that there's a chamber in the lower left corner of the guitar, which I'm assuming is this part, but it could mean this part, depends on if you're looking at the guitar this way, but I'm gonna assume that this is the lower left based on where I'm sitting. There's a chamber here which is specially cut to sort of enhance bass frequencies, and underneath here, there's another chamber which is enhancing the higher frequencies. So they say it gives this guitar a really balanced, really kind of full spectrum sound. As for what this thing is worth, I don't actually know the exact figure. All I know is that Merrick offer two sort of differing price points on this particular guitar in their current catalog. So one of which is around about the $1,200 mark, which is their sort of studio grade series. Then they've got another line then, which is their sort of custom series, which is sort of $3,200 and up. Again, where this one falls in that, I don't know because it's a prototype model. How close this is to the specs of what you can get from their catalog, I couldn't tell you. So with this being such an interesting guitar, I think we need to figure out what this thing sounds like. Visually, I don't really know if I can work out whether or not it looks like something Prince would play or whether it looks like something a metal band would play. It's somewhere in the middle, I think, because it's kind of got these pointy horns, but then this sort of very soft edged cloud-like look at the bottom end. So it's sort of a bit of a mystery, really. What do you guys think this guitar looks like it would sound like? So let me know down below in the comments what kind of artists you think would play one of these. So I'm just gonna run over some tones now. I'm plugged straight into the front of my Hughes & Kettner Black Spirit 200, which is running out of the Redbox DI straight into my DAW via my Focusrite interface. So I'm gonna start with some clean tones. Let's just make sure everything is turned up and I will just play and move through the pickups. <laughs> So it's a super resonant guitar. They're definitely right about the low end thing there. There's definitely a lot of kind of warm, fat low end. I can imagine if you played this thing through a cranked valve amp, it would sound massive. So I'm gonna move over to a crunch channel now and see how this thing handles a little bit of gain. <laughs>
So it stacks up pretty well in the crunch department. Again, these pickups are quite present. There's a lot of clarity in the pickups. I really like that. There's a lot of note separation. The Tone Perfect pickups, as they're called, or as they're labeled, I guess are probably hand wound by Minerik. Again, what these spec up to compared to the production models, I don't know, but they sound pretty good. I really like the sound of these pickups. So now I've gone over to a higher gain sound, see how this thing handles a bit more gain. <laughs> So it can also handle a bit of gain pretty well too. Again, those pickups still sound really clear, but you can hear a really fat low end there. The bridge pickup actually has a kind of an 80s rock, sort of classic rock crossover there for me. Again, you get that sort of late 70s, early 80s heavy sound, but there's a lot of bite in the sound as well. I really, really enjoy that tone. That bridge pickup particularly really stands out to me. On the high gain settings, I'm not loving the neck pickup, but you know, neck pickups are always hit or miss, I think, with me. I really like a warm but not too low-endy pickup, and I think maybe that pickup has just got a bit too much low-end for this guitar. I'd maybe like to see something a little bit brighter there, but it still sounds really good. You can still get all those sort of creamy lead tones. If you actually roll down the tone control on the neck pickup, you can kind of get that Eric Clapton thing. <laughs> So that makes it quite a versatile guitar in my box. You can kind of go from heavy 80s rock to Eric Clapton, but you probably wouldn't play much Eric Clapton on a guitar that looks like this. It's quite a full on look. So there you go. There is the Minerik Medusa, even though this says Goddess. As I said, this is a prototype model, so it's pretty cool, pretty rare. I've never actually seen one of these in person. I've only ever seen them in magazines like 15, 20 years ago. So it's quite cool to actually play one. These are actually fantastic guitars to play, whether or not you like the way it looks. That is, you know, completely subjective, but as an instrument, this is fantastic. It's a real, real nice neck. Everything feels super tight, super clean. The fretwork is fantastic. It sounds great. It feels good. It kind of has that broken in feel. Probably, you know, this isn't a brand new one. This is a couple of years old. I don't know the exact age, but I know this line was launched in about 2007. So if this is a prototype, I'm probably gonna say this is maybe like 2005, 2006. But yeah, it feels like a played in guitar. I don't know how much previous owners have used this thing. It's pretty much in mint condition. So I'm guessing this has just lived with a collector somewhere. But yeah, like I said, serious playing guitar. Very, very nice to play. Lovely neck, lovely feeling guitar. So what do you guys think? What do you think of this Minerik guitar? Let me know down below in the comments. I'd love to know what you guys think of this, both visually 
and sound wise. How does it sound compared to how it looks? And also I'm really interested in hearing what kind of artists you think would play one of these because it's quite an acquired look. It's an absolutely huge body. The body is massive. It's probably one of the, the longest bodies of a guitar I've ever played. But you know, it sounds great, it plays great, so I'm looking forward to hearing what you guys think of that as well. And while you're down there letting me know what you think, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button as well, and I'll see you very soon. Thanks for watching, guys.